Okay, so for this problem it says a saturated solution of sodium nitrate in 100 grams of water at 40 degrees Celsius is heated to 50 degrees Celsius. What is the rate of increase in sol uh, solubility in grams per degree? So the trick here is the answer they're looking for is going to be in grams per degree Celsius. Okay, so we're looking for the rate change. All right. Now to do this, we just need to look at the chart twice and figure out the, at the two different temperatures, what are the two solubilities? So I'm going to start with the first one, 40 degrees Celsius. All right, 40 degrees Celsius equals, all right, blank grams, NaNO3 per 100 grams of H2O. All right, everybody's good with that, right? Just setting it up. The next one's gonna be the same thing, but at 50 degrees. So now the only difference with our setup are the temperatures. Okay, so we have sodium nitrate, which is this line here. We have it at 40 degrees about here and then we have it at 50 degrees which is about there okay 40 degrees what would you guys come up with all right I heard 105 and then for 50 degrees what would you guys come up with 115 yeah look at that all right that's really cool look at that all right so now how do we figure this out in grams per degree Celsius well, we figure out the difference, right? All right, how much was the grams change? 10, yeah, okay. Now notice that we're not dividing this one, right? We're, we, because the temperature is changing here, we have to figure out the difference. So we have 10 grams, all right, so it changed by 10 grams per how many degrees Celsius? 10 degrees Celsius, all right? And then we need to simplify this. So it would just be, one gram per degree Celsius. That's the rate of increase in solubility. So it goes up one gram for every degree Celsius. All right, so that would be your answer for that one. All right, yeah, Tiffany. Um, what if you had got different numbers when you were... If you would, well, okay, so what did you have? 106 and... No, I had that. Oh, then, you know, it'll be close, right? And then you yeah. round it to a whole number, so it ends up being about one. I'm not worried too much about the sig figs for this, but yeah. But yeah, like if you had 106 here and then 115, that would be about, you know, um, nine to 10 here. So it'd be 0.9. If you put 0.9, that would be fine. All right, I wouldn't take off for that as long as it's, you know, I can see the work. That's why the work's important, showing how you got it. All right, any other questions? 